Hallelujah. God, God knows where to put us and how to bring us and make us be even more thankful than under normal circumstances because when he comes and it seems like he's put the belt to us and then he takes us in his arm and said, now, I, I, I want to bring you to a place that you have not been and you'll be saying when you get up, oh, what a morning. Oh, what a morning. I've been there. I know what it is. And what it looks like, you, you will never climb out of the hole that you have found yourself buried in. And all of a sudden, your feet seem like they just stick to the wall as you start climbing out without any effort. And God brings you over the top. Hallelujah. I know the ability of the Almighty God. And even yet, He knows how to take care of things. Uh, he, he can make an eyeball. He can make a leg grow. Yes, sir. I remember one service we were in, and there was this little girl playing the piano. And when she started to leave the platform, I, I seen her walking like this. And I, I looked, and she had a nine-inch built-up shoe. And even with that nine-inch shoe, it had become, as she grew, that leg was not growing. And I, I stopped her and I said, hold it right there, sweetheart. And uh, I looked at the congregation I says, do you all believe that God can make that leg grow that has never grown since she was born? It seems like it just, uh, the other leg keeps growing now she's, even though she's about 13 years old, I said, now this, this leg, she's got, it may have been 10 inches, it was about like that, and that built up soul, and, and uh, people started weeping, and I said, uh, I, I want someone who believes it without a doubt to walk up and lay hands on her. All right. And man, there was a throng of people run to put their hands on her. And then I was back there again preaching about 10 months later, and uh, I was preaching that night, and I, I looked, and I said, uh, where's the girl who plays the piano? And uh, she was sitting out in the congregation. I says, step out in the aisle. She stepped out in the aisle, and she was walking like this. And I said, what happened to your leg? She said, the next day, I felt my leg stretching, and it grew one inch a month. And it's been... 10 months now, and she says, I'm wearing a regular shoe, and my leg has developed just like the other one, and it didn't take all my life for it to happen, and she walked perfect without a limp, and God just done it in a process of time, oh, oh my goodness, what a morning, how, how would you like to wake up in the morning, and everything was in control. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Well, unless things have been out of control, you have not a clue what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> you say, well, I, I, I don't understand. I know what you're talking about. Uh, but <laughs> Brother Driscoll, we know a God who can rain down from heaven after he has put the whip to us, <laughs> or it appears that he has, and left us stranded by the byways, and we wondered, oh Lord, I, I, I walk along and I, I don't know how it can happen. This lady come to me one day and she said, Brother Born, I, I have this form and I want you to lay hands on it and pray for it. So I prayed for it. I said, what is it? She said, the city of Houston is given away uh, how many houses was this for? 75 or 80 homes. And she says, uh, I have written on my application which home I want. In order to get that home, I have to be the first one chosen in this city uh, thing when they they come to, they draw out the name. The first name draws out, gets the first choice. 
of these 75 homes. And she said, so I, I brought several more applications if you wanted to be number two or three or four or five or up to 10. And no one would take a form from her because they said, oh, lose. She's just a little bit loose. Well, sorry I mentioned that, but. Uh, so she'd come to church, she'd shout, and she said, I'm fixed to move into my new house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. And uh, it come the day, yeah. and people would say, Brother Bourne, wh wh why do you let that lady believe that? This is just a fake thing. It, the city is just trying to get people to buy homes, and uh, they, they, they've taken these homes out of uh, possession of, of, this, of the uh, realtors, and they, they make them believe they're going to give something away. And I said, well, all of you should have taken one that didn't have a house because they yeah. said they was going to give away. I believe they're going to give them away. Yeah. And so that morning she was there along with several other people and they reached in that big hopper and pulled out and the first name they pulled out was Luz. All right. <laughs> and she had the choice of 75 homes. <laughs> Just take your pick, lady. You have the first choice. Awesome. My Lord. Uh, oh, what a morning. Thank you. Amen. She told me, she said, Brother Bourne, I'm fixed to move into my new house. All right. Uh, what you want. All these other people said, well, you know, I had a shot at that. Uh, but they didn't believe it. There you go. But tonight, there is not anything that I don't believe. Come on. Yeah. I believe God is able yes. to do everything necessary where you're concerned. Yes, sir. To bring yes, sir. you up to par yes, in your living. All right. Or to bring you up to par in your spirituality. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Come on. But he has to have a response from you. Response. Even though he has put the paddle to you. <laughs> it looks like he's taken away from you everything that uh, should have been yours months ago. Oh, my Lord, I'm, I'm glad that God has done it. You know, every time I walk up these steps, I think about that day when the doctor says, you will never step up another step. And you will never step down another step. Hallelujah. Sometimes I just get to the church and I just walk up and down the steps. And say, Look at that, devil. You have the doctor to take all of my hope away. Step up another step. You will right. never oh, be on right. that platform again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take your book and put it on a shelf and occasionally just look at it because no, you won't no, ever no, need no, that no, again. No, 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 no. Oh my God. So when I come to church and I, I see those steps and I said, I can still do it. Uh, yeah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Oh, what a morning. Oh, what a morning. Oh, what a morning. Yeah. Matter of fact, Brother Driscoll. Young Brother Driscoll, I say young, you, the age is coming on up. <laughs> how would you respond? Well, you probably wouldn't do it. Come on. <laughs> how, how would you respond if you got a call in the next few days and they told you, all we can start you out is $28 an hour. Yes, Jesus! Yes! He was a runner at the bank, and he rolled coins, and he had very little hope. He was on minimum wage, as far as the bank was concerned, and uh, one night I, I was sitting in the office with a pastor. This young man walked to the 
to the door there and I said, come in, son. I said, I, you know, I had this crazy dream last night. I dreamed that I saw you sitting at this desk and I, I looked and it was a name tag on it. I, I walked to look at it and said, it had your name and it said VP. <laughs> and I said, how would you like to be vice president of the bank? He said, oh, come on, little boy. I've only been there now six weeks. All I do is roll coins and run errands. And so I closed out that revival and I, I went to my next place. And uh, the first night, the first week we were there, Sister Bourne and I, we were driving through town and we passed by the bank. And all of a sudden the marquee on the bank, uh, I looked, I said, oh my, look, it's just more, look at that. It says, welcome, Roy Dearman, Vice President. She said, no, it doesn't say that. I said, it does? I said, there it comes again. Welcome, Roy Dearman, Vice President. And she said, Brother Bourne, I'm sorry, it doesn't say that. I said, it says it where I'm looking. And I see it. Yes. And I, I'm going to get a hold of him and I'm going to tell him. Yeah. So that night, he just so happened to drive over to the church to be in that service because he, he and I, uh, we kind of had things going together. And so that night, I, I said, Roy, it's good to see you. I said, you know what? I, I passed by the bank here this afternoon on the way to church. And I told my wife, I said, I, I saw the marquee. Is it, it was one of those big marquees at the side at the bank, and here, here it come across and said, "Welcome, Roy Dearman, Vice President." I said, "How would you like to be Vice President at this bank?" He said, "Oh, Brother Bourne, I, I don't qualify." I said, "Don't say that again." All right. God will qualify God'll you. Qualify. Yes, Amen. She will. Yes. <laughs> Next morning, the next morning, yeah. <coughs> the next morning, the president of the bank called Roy Dearman and said, Mr. Dearman, uh, your name has come to our attention. And we'd like you to come over and, and uh, talk with us. So, he, he walked into the bank that day and he said, uh, yes, sir. He said, uh, we want to offer you a position in our bank. And uh, they said to him what they wanted to do. They wanted him to be uh, the vice president of the bank. And he said, sir, I, I don't qualify. And they said, yeah, you qualify. We've looked at your qualifications. Wow. Come on. That's right. And they said, how much money do we need to give you? And he thought of what he was making. He multiplied it about six or eight times. <laughs> and he told him, he says, uh, I, I would be happy with this amount. And they, they looked at him and says, uh, you embarrass us. <laughs> he said, well, what did I do? They said, we wouldn't dare have anybody working at this bank that was making that kind of money. He said, am, am I too high? They said, no. And so they gave him a $10,000 raise to start off with from what he asked for. Wow. My Lord, I'm now, now, I'm talking about a, a boy that, uh, he was a young man. He, he had never, uh, he was as disqualified as some of you are to be the vice president of the bank. <laughs> He's still there. Hallelujah. He's next to the president now. He's the yeah. executive vice president. Oh, oh, my Lord. He told me, he said, Brother Bourne, this is a large banking system. And he says, I have the lowest uh, loan problems of any officer in this city. Almost zero. And he says, every time one 
looks like it's going to be in problems, I take it to God, and God makes a way for them where there is no way. All right. All right. And he says, so uh, the bank, they, they, they like me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, I walk in there uh, occasionally, and he'd just be walking around. Oh, thank you, boy. And, and I thought, I, I looked at him one day and I said, how did you get this job? <laughs> he said, you saw it in the marquee. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I was not qualified. <laughs> but God qualified me the All next right. day. All right. All right. And I started off yep. as the vice president. Right. And I have not missed a lick since that day. All right. Because God qualified me. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. Now, this is what I'm saying. The Bible says in one, day, in one day, and then in two days, and on the third day. Oh, my Lord. My, 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 my. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Let me, let me read it again. <laughs> and then shall you know if you follow on to know the Lord, his going forth is prepared as the morning. And he shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter and the former rain upon the earth. And then all you will be able to say is, Oh, what a morning. What a morning. Thank you. Yes, sir. You know, what a morning. I, I'll be honest, you know, here's a young man that I thought would still be running. scaffolding underneath but here I was and I saw the nail given and it twisted and I fell across those scaffolds and fell down and, and then that big beam fell and hit me across the back and I, I lay in a bed for six months without being able to walk and uh, I'm not supposed to be without pain but I don't have a pain in my back and God raised me up four years ago and sent me to Natchez four years ago. He took all of the pain away. I can drive 12 hours and walk into the service and preach like, like I'm on fire. So I said, you don't understand fire. It starts off slow. young man, you can yes. give him the job yes. that others would hope to have. All right. Jesus. I know what I'm talking yes. about. Yes. And uh, yes. I'm willing to do it. And I would hope that it happens just like this scripture says. Yes. Come let us return to the Lord for he has torn and he will heal us and he, he has spit us and he will bind us up and after two days he will after revive us. Oh, and the third day he will raise us up. Yeah. Yes. And we shall live in his sight. Yes. 